Hello, this is my 2023 Volkswagen GTI. This is the US spec. Uh, same thing as the 2022 that we got here. And quick video uh, for those who want to install an aftermarket subwoofer or amp uh, in in your car. Uh, this is the JBL Base Pro Hub. So it fits where the stock Harman Kardon sub goes. And, you know, you can put the cover back on and it, it, it all fits. Uh, just want to show you where I ran the ground, where I ran the power wire, and how I made it work uh, using the uh, stock wiring. So number one is, uh, let's look at this. This is the connector that plugs into the OEM sub. What you can do is you don't have to splice this to use the sound if you don't want to. You can buy this female adapter, uh, AliExpress, Amazon. I'll put the part number. Uh, in the description, buy some wiring. This is 2.5 millimeter, but any wiring should do. And these, if you make sure that it comes with the terminals, the open barrel terminals, then you can crimp those on and you have your connector. And what you can do then is simply plug this in. Uh, if I can get that, there we go. So that's the first thing that feeds the signal to the sub. I ran this through the LC2, uh, so it's converting that into, you know, I can, because I can play with the gain and bass, uh, and then the RCAs go into the sub right here. Uh, and that comes with a power ground, and if you have the remote out, uh, it'll send a signal to that too. So it does quite a bit of things with it. The ground, uh, I, this comes with a harness. I connected the ground to this bolt here between the two seats. Uh, you can see that right there. It seems to work as an effective ground. Uh, there's other bolts under the seat there, and apparently there's one here that grounds this power charger. Maybe it's behind here, so I'd have to take a look. But that's where I put the ground. What we'll do is take a look at where uh, I ran the power wire through the firewall. Okay, so I have a manual transmission and you can see that if you go right back here, this is where I ran it, there's a little nub right there and you can push a uh, coat hanger through that and it'll come out in the engine bay behind the battery and uh, that's it. If you, if you push it through, tape the wire to a coat hanger and push it in two to three inches, uh, it'll go through. For the automatic, I think there's another grommet where the clutch uh, would go, the uh, the wires for the clutch right over here. But this is it. This is where I ran that uh, easy enough. And if we take a look on this side here, I ran that through here. You'll have to take off the battery uh, to do that. Take off this battery, remove it, and you'll find the wire coming out right behind the battery back there. Uh, that's it. Helps if you have a coat hanger. Uh, initially, maybe put some tape on it, red or white, to find it easily amongst the uh, wires over there. But that's that's what I did. I just used that little grommet and it pushed right through. And you can see how everything attaches here. So in terms of uh, how everything works, uh, it works it works just fine. The, uh, uh, you know, I, I would uh, recommend when you're putting everything in to lower the base on the head unit. And if you have a gain like you do here, just to take everything down uh, when you turn things on because this thing can go quite loud. Let's put it this way. And it does go loud. Uh, you know, when you're turning it up for a song, you can feel it in uh, uh, your driver's seat. You can actually feel the bass. So something like that, if you just want enhanced bass, uh, works really well, you know. This won't be the crazy uh, <laughs> two 12 inches, anything like that, but it thumps and you feel it in the back of your seat. And that's all I want with that. So, you know, that was a quick little video to show you how you can connect up uh, 
easily enough uh, a little sub and try to keep everything mostly looking stock uh, once it all gets cleaned up and uh, hope it helped. Thanks.